Okay, this is on the Jackman job, number 53573. Okay, so we are just changing out this furnace with a 90% furnace. Um, so, furnace just as it shows, um, sit on a base. Um, the back of the furnace will sit five inches from the back wall, back two by four wall and a return air will sit, be tight against the two by four wall. Okay, so base, coil, we have a little piece of duct, canvas, and a stony collar. So the existing is just duct board. So I'll give you a cut line one inch in on each side and uh, right here. And uh, Sorry, I drew in front of your cut line, but <laughs> anyway, um, then in the back, you know, you'll sit back. So you're, okay. Um, so you return, you'll have that, and then you'll have a filter box, and then your return air boot will be tied against this wall. So you're gonna need to pan the wall up. We're gonna add a 30 by eight flat grill here. So pan this wall up and add a couple headers. <clears throat> and then this is kind of honky how they've done this. Um, but right now they're just pulling return air out of two joists, this one and the one behind it. And they have this gas line right here this was just taken with the eight inch pipe. So in the back joist space, they actually have three return airs all, you know, in that joist space. So um, this one, just the one floor grill. Anyway, if you can, when you get up there, if you see what's going on, if you can maybe cut a, you know, if you can get back, maybe cut a four inch hole through the joist or whatever is feasible, depending on what the duck does, but um, we just want to get as much air as we can. But anyway, um, so yeah, you got this gas line right here in the middle. So I went from 12 inch drop to an eight by 30 something, eight by 33 and a half. The bottom was the back couple inches and so that'll pick up our two joist spaces um, it's kind of hard to measure so if I'm over a little bit just seal off what you need to on top um, but yeah that should come right down in between this uh, flange here you probably have to bend down because this will be tight against the wall and um, okay okay so the combustion area is okay it's just the door um, the vent we're just gonna we're gonna take off um, this T and we're gonna move actually we can yeah Take off this T and we'll reuse this um, B vent here, the reducer, and put it up in there and reuse maybe this piece of duct or this, you know, whatever you need to here. Just reuse it and uh, come over and then I'll give you a draft hood and then four inch aluminum to the water heater. <clears throat> um, a PVC flues just go up and out the back wall. Um, I can actually see daylight out of that one. I wonder if that's a question there. I'm going to look at that because I can see daylight out that one. <laughs> but anyway, um, just to a flat termination, two inch. 
Okay, the gas. So from the cock, you're going to add a 4 inch and a 90 and a 20 inch, I think. And then a T with a drip leg, flex into the furnace. Okay, I'll see, AC I'll go over in a minute. Um, the drain, just to the floor drain. So on your returner, the cut line is obviously at the joists. So you're going to just remove all that duckboard there. And you're going to, I'll give you a header to reheader what you need. I see it's all open on this side. So just reheader what you need and do whatever you can there. <laughs> Okay, thermostat, you're getting an S30. Gonna have the 30 by 8 flat grill, low, right here above the baseboard. Um, open up, um, not more than 550 CFM there. Dwight said on the scope 400, but in this case, I just figured maybe, <laughs> maybe a little bit more would be better. Um, electrical, we use the switch. Um, so right here it has plastic conduit coming out, but you can probably just get rid of the plastic conduit up there and do our, you know, slide our flex over like we normally do. So I'll give you, just for use a switch, I'll give you a new boxing cover. And let's go out and look at the AC. Okay, so we're going to flush the lines. The existing breaker panel is in the laundry room. It has a 30 amp Siemens breaker right now, and that's okay. <sighs> um, so we're going to put the AC on a new pad and reuse the existing disconnect. And this is seven eight three eight. And yeah, I don't know why I saw daylight out of there. There's nothing here, but there is a bay window, so on this flue you may have to take the siding off to just depending on what you run into, but it might be this and then a header up inside here you have to go through. Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm on the wrong dang window. There's a combustion air right there. Huh. So we have to be a foot away from that combustion air. So, never mind about that side. <laughs> Yeah, hands on the wrong window. Okay. And food stack's okay. That is it. Thanks.